how to keep track of your investments. What's up, folks? This is so cool. Market is green. I know it's probably not green today, but I'm talking about what's been going on for a while. You know, most people's portfolios, whoever bought that dip about a month ago, is probably times two right now. So we're gonna just get a little quick updates, a couple apps that I think is gonna help whoever is trying to keep track of their portfolio in this website which i think is pretty awesome it's called coin checkup it is very similar to coin market cap has a few i believe a few pros about it because when you click on a individual cryptocurrency you see there's a lot more going on it has a few fields that i think are still not completed yet but once you click on them it displays uh, events that are going to happen soon, some news, and just a few little charts and certain things about price movement, which I like. So, if you have something you like that is similar to Coin Market Cap, you want something a little bit more complex, CoinCheckup.com. This is a website that's cool. Guys, keep an eye on this. And let's move on to a few updates about some of or picks and why we are going to talk about them one more time so what happens a lot in the market is most youtubers they pick something that is really hot or something that is important at the moment they talk about it the moment it goes away they stop talking about it because it's just not hot anymore and someone has to be at least not necessarily backing but if you believe in the coins you're investing in, it is important to keep an eye on them just because this market is not the same thing as buying a stock where you just buy it and you put it away. 30 years later, you just take a look and see what they're doing. And what I see a lot is people will talk about a coin right now and two months later, no one hears about it because it's dead. It's just went cold and the moment that happens they just take all their profits and move to the next coin and chances are not everybody took profits so we made a video about three weeks back about some of the picks not necessarily I own positions in all of them I'm just gonna go really quickly through each and every one pretty fast and have a sense of why you need to keep an eye on your projects even if you actually see someone online that has a pick and a and a first uh, a little curiosity as to why they think the project is good price movement is important but when you're following the news and what is going on on github especially if they're having a lot of commits which this website also, by the way, CryptoMiso.com lists all the, all the coins that are having the most amount of com commits. You can check past months to see which ones are actually doing something. I do have to admit, some of this is not perfectly accurate in the sense that some of these coins or tokens will have proprietary information that they will not add to GitHub just to protect their code so sometimes a coin that is a lot more active especially with their community and it won't list there but you can have a sense of the ones that are doing something that are in that list some of them are actually been in the top 10 for the last 12 months and you could take a look down the list and chances are you'd be surprised with some of these these currencies that you have actually never heard of or isn't even talked about in any other community. But the moment you start scrolling them, this actually spurs your curiosity about why no one is talking about this particular currency because chances are it's not making anyone any money. But they're doing what they are meant to be doing. And that's why the correlation of price movement 
in project development is so different in this space. So keep an eye on this website. I'm going to start talking about Aspire, which is one of the picks we had about three weeks ago. And just so you have a little idea of what is going on with some of our picks. So when I made the video about Aspire, Aspire was at 2.6 cents. And if you take a look at it now, it almost did three times gains. And it's always good when the coins you've picked go up. But the sad part about Aspire is, sure, there were some updates, but there is so little that happened in between the time that I've purchased this coin and now. And as you can see, the moment people start feeling that the, that the market will go up, they will start buying it. And the price movement will be so sudden because people start feeling that they're going to miss out on some of these good projects. I, I've been in Aspire. Some of these in this list I actually don't own positions on, but I have been in Aspire since ICO. I really think they're, gonna, they're a, a great project. I will make a individual video looking at Aspire in our score sheet for you guys to have a sense of why I like Aspire. But... Aspire has been a great performer. If you look at the top 100, you're going to realize that not every coin that is in the top 100 has performed as well as some of these small caps. But that just goes to show you that if you keep an eye on the market, you're going to realize when a coin has more upside than downside. And I took the opportunity to increase my position when it was at 2.6 cents which a lot of people don't do because they don't feel it's doing anything. And that is usually my strategy. I usually, I'm that guy that always buys the dip. So Aspire is a great coin. I will make a video about this just Aspire soon, but Aspire has done almost three times. It actually corrected a little bit. So if you are interested in what Aspire is doing, I will be making a video soon. This was just a little heads up. I'm going to be doing a little look on Landem. So Landem was at 7.6 cents. That is crazy for a project like Landem. Their FUD was pretty awful because they hurt their coins so much. And the exchanges they've been in has kept Landem in this sort of like a small bubble that has suppressed its price. Price went so low almost touched ICO price again and then it almost exploded to four times gains and it corrected to the current price of almost 20 cents. I always liked Landem as a project. I did have a large position in Landem and I liquidated my Landem assets just because I had interest in another project that I have close influence with. But Landem just the fact that it is a open source platform that has interoperability in between blockchains is a huge deal. This is the next generation movement, I think, for blockchain technology. If anyone is interested in a great project that has just been there sleeping with no price movement, remember, Landem has been doing a lot of changes. They even came out with their, their DEX, which looks really cool, by the way. Keep an eye on Landem. It has actually gone more than three times gain since for our pick. But Linden is a good project. Let's look now at MWAT. So you have a little project like Restart Energy, which has so much growth potential. You're seeing coins like Electrify Asia. You're looking at Power Ledger. You're looking at WePower. And portion of the reason why Restart Energy took such a big hit was when it hit the market. Safe to say, it was 2.6 cents. I really believe that when we had sort of made the videos about our price points, it was the lower area that these coins will hit in the market. Chances are some of these companies that were planning to work with MWAT have purchased a large sum of coins. Same thing, similar happened with Cargo X, which we haven't reviewed or listed in our picks. It was a great project, but we had to pick up a few of them. 
I do hold my position on Restart Energy just because the project is in such infancy, had just hit the market, had so much upside. I did sell a small portion of my, my shares to get into it. Not a project, but I am looking forward to when Restart Energy start branching out to other countries and start getting their franchises moving. Restart Energy will definitely surprise a lot of folks out there. It's very small market cap. I see this doing very well what we were talking about at the current time possibly 10 times gains we always know talking about gains all the time everybody wants to say it, it has the potential to yes it does this market is all about pumps so i really think restart energy is a great project especially because it already has a company that is backing this this coin so I will keep my Restart Energy for a possibly very long time or until I see a product of similar area show better results that I see Restart Energy in. So let's talk now about Buy Box. So what can I say about Buy Box Token? So when we made the video, Buy Box Token was 42 cents and now it has very close to doubled mark the all-time high was 196 million and its current valuation is 76 million what do i think why do i think buy box will do so well check out these facts so when i made my video buy box token was at the around the volume of about 44 million us dollars and then now look at that insane volume 193 million sitting at the number 15 and a lot of people don't even talk about box guess what they're talking about they're talking about qcoin look at qcoin 59 million in volume and guess what qcoin is doing it has a 307 million dollar evaluation with not even half not even almost a quarter of what buy box is doing in volume so Trust me, buy box will deliver. Let's move on to stack. So what is there to talk about stack? Any coin that you could have purchased a month ago, we all know by now were bottomed out. And stack was no less another coin. It has done about three times since our video. And the reason why I haven't purchased position on stack was because of a news that came from coinbase launching their own debit card that would have been approved by visa so i did hold off on my stack because of this still a great project if anyone is interested but i didn't take a position on stack at least for those that have decided to take a position in stack have made some decent gains in case anyone is just thinking that we are all there for shilling coins because stack has still a great future for those that are interested in using cryptocurrencies worldwide since it's such an easy app that you can use so anyway let's move on now to odyssey so odyssey surprised even myself so i liked odyssey as a special pick for a undervalued small cap coin and at the time it was at 0.8 cents and it actually went as high as three cents a little bit more than that and it has corrected a little bit to 2.5 cents and let me tell you the way this exploded after what I thought it would be the opposite when they released the coins that were locked during ICO I figured that this coin would just tank in value and I would have taken my position then and the opposite happened and then Justin Sun came with the CEO and then they announced a airdrop and then this coin just took off and I ended up not taking a position on Odyssey. Safe to say it was my loss. I still like the project. Look at the players that are involved in this project. Look at the volume. That just speaks to yourself the potential of Odyssey. It is on some really big exchanges as well as Qcoin. Even in Qcoin, the volume is insane in there. So check out Odyssey. 
this is this was one of my special picks i really think this research that i've done in odyssey was good enough i do plan to take a position in odyssey possibly after the airdrop i like when coins just dump after an airdrop so i can take a position sometimes it's for the better sometimes it's not similar thing happened with pearl oyster pearl so i will be looking forward to what is going to happen with the price evaluation on odyssey until then so let's take a look now at a couple of apps these are apps for people that are trying to manage their portfolios on their computers so i will search it online for any app that can be used in your computer for tracking your portfolio and i came across out pocket and blocks i don't have them installed on my computer so i am planning to download them and see how they operate i wasn't endorsed by none of these two projects i do plan to purchase another portfolio tracking app that was referred to me by a friend and I would not show it on the video because I don't want to sound like I'm shilling it because it is paid. But just for you guys to have an idea why it is important to keep track of your portfolio is I had made the trades on Dragon. When Dragon had hit the market, especially in Qcoin, uh, Dragon was about 48 cents. And the crazy part is I don't remember exactly where I purchased it. Chances are I purchased it around this area. But after it went parabolic and it started to correct, I didn't know exactly what my, my entry point in SATs was. And if I had kept track of my SAT value, I would have been more comfortable making trades. But when I saw that it dipped to about the same area of my entry point, I felt comfortable about purchasing a large position of Dragon around this area. And ever since it has done about two times. And this is the reason why it's so important for you to keep track of your USD and SAT value so that you don't lose any Bitcoin because that's where you're going to be training against them. So I hope this video helped you guys. If you guys have any comments or any suggestions, please don't forget to like and comment and do any comment on the comments below. And I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.